cooking apa? Hi, this is cooking apa? Today I'm going to uh, make one soup and also one uh, fried fish. Because today apa managed to find uh, to buy a hair tail. This is called hair tail uh, fish. Some call it belt fish. It basically looks like a belt. It looks like a U also. And it is very, the meat is very tender. It is very delicious if you uh, pan or you fry it, or you can use it to make a fish soup. So I'm actually going to demonstrate two dishes with, for you today. Okay, I'm going to make two videos. So um, for the soup, I'm not going to make a very big portion. So I'm just going to throw in probably about two to three pieces of the meat. Yeah. So the first thing about these are the things you have to prepare. Uh, I'm, this is the whole fish here. I bought about 40 ringgit per kilo. And this fish is about cost me about 18 ringgit. Uh, in, I bought it in KL. And I'm probably only you going to use the one or two uh, parts. That's all. Yeah. The rest of it I'm going to deep fry later. And uh, I have one tofu here. So I have some garlic here. Uh, if you have some, if you have the um, uh, big onion, please use the big onion as well. Okay, I don't have a big onion with me today. And this is actually a pork, a pork stock. Um, Appa always uh, says, always use a soup to cook a soup. Okay, use a soup to cook a soup, then your soup will, will be very taste, uh, tasty, even though you only cook like for a few couple of minutes. So I have some uh, Korean chili paste here and some Korean chili flax. All right. The Korean chili flakes will give it some very nice uh, reddish color, but it, is, it will not be too spicy. And it has a hot water here. Okay, so let's quickly do our soup. And then after that, I'm going to do another video on frying fish. Okay, I have heated a little bit of oil inside this uh, small pot here. And we need to uh, saute our garlic. If you have big onion, this is the time which you should put in your big onion as well. Chop big onion, okay? But I don't have it, so I'm just going to add in my uh, Chinese cabbage. The white portion of the Chinese cabbage. cabbage. Okay. Some Chinese cabbage here. This is going to be a very flavorful soup, yeah. Even though we only cook it for a couple of minutes. Okay. Now we can actually put in the chili flakes. Uh, I'm going to put in at least about one tablespoon. Okay. Okay, saute it. This will give it some very nice chili fragrance and chili color, the red color. Okay, it is not spicy. Okay, you uh, down the uh, lower down your your fire a little bit. Now is the time you can add in your stock. You can use any stock you have with you. It doesn't matter. Okay, it's not enough, so I'm going to top it up with some hot water. Alright. So now it's the time I'm going to add in some uh, Korean chili paste. Korean chili paste is actually sweet. A bit uh, spicy, but generally sweet. Okay. I will adjust the reddish color later, don't worry. Okay, if you find not red enough, you can always add more chili flakes for the color. So we will bring this to a boil before we add in other ingredients. Alright, we come back shortly. Okay, my soup is now boiling. We can put in the ingredients. Now, first of all, let's put in our hair tail fish. I'm going to put in one, the head, the tail, and maybe one of the body, okay? Three meat. And then I'm going to put in some slice 
oyster mushroom just to make my soup more interesting okay I found some ginger julienne ginger in my in my uh, fridge just now so I just adding in optional don't worry uh, so much about it and our tofu we can also add in right now and we can actually do a little bit of uh, seasoning Korean seasoning is actually very simple okay we give it a bit of salt Followed by some sugar. Where is my sugar? All right. Then we will give it some light soya sauce. We will give it some fish sauce. And let's bring it to a boil again. When it's boiled again, after a couple of minutes, it should be almost done. Um, I don't mind adding the rest of my Chinese cabbage right now. If you prefer your veggie to be uh, crispier, you can add your, your Chinese cabbage later. Okay? I don't mind my veggie to be a bit uh, mushy in the soup. Right then. So let it boil. Okay, let's bring it to a boil and let it boil for say uh, a couple of minutes, uh, three, four minutes, and everything should be cooked. Alright, we'll come back shortly. Less than five minutes boiling, my fish and everything is already cooked. Okay, we don't have to cook for a long time because this is already a stock. We are using a stock to cook a soup, okay? So it is already very flavorful. I just found from my uh, fridge that I have some kimchi. So I'm going to add in some kimchi. It's optional, okay? This is optional. And let's have a final seasoning. Look at the beautiful advertising color. sweet very yummy and I think it can it can take a bit more slight soya sauce and we will give it a final tinge of sesame oil just one or two drop will do all right and there you go my yeah my hair tail My hair tail fish soup okay this is my hair tail fish soup and i hope you like it it is very very flavorful and very appetizing let me try to bring out the fish for you all right and you garnish it with some spring onion on top there you go so if you like my video do share my face my, my video to your facebook to your friends uh, come to cooking up our facebook fan page to click above the like and follow button subscribe to cooking up our youtube channel and follow up on instagram i hope you all enjoy your dinner with your family bye bye